What's up guys and welcome back to Headphones Neil Reviews. I'm your host as always, Headphones Neil, bringing you a little bit more of a consolidated episode for this week, uh, mostly because I did get a chance to watch Loki Season 2 Episode 2, but I couldn't tell you much about it and I didn't really take many notes to help with my recap of it, so um, because I'm drawing a total blank on it, it's been a little bit of a hectic week too. I am going to rewatch the episode, um, along with episode three prior to next week. And so I'll have a recap of both of those episodes for y'all next week. Um, not to say it was good or bad. So because I'm drawing a blank on the entire episode, um, that's why I kind of don't want to review it. So, um, that's not going to be on the list for this week. But I did have a chance to watch the last, the, the season finale for The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, and it was actually one of the better episodes, better episodes, if not the best episode of the season, besides the season premiere. So overall, it rounds out the journey that he was going through with in France. Um, he go, he and the, um, I guess the ex-boyfriend of the nun lady take out a bunch of zombies and that whole thing, or basically everything that happened in the season finale was a good episode just because we have, you know, speed running zombies. We have these, um, this lady who's running basically like a gladiator style pit, kind of like a cockfighting ring almost where she has these like super fast, um, zombies for some reason and i actually wanted to learn more about them just to see uh what they were all about what um like how they were created and more about that doctor guy along the lines of um just we i mean he kind of reminded me of the guy from andor um who were for the empire and created and wanted all the different specimens and things like that so um like I said, it was, a, I mean, it was a good episode because of that. Uh, we have a resolution to what Daryl's doing. He ultimately gets to the boat to um, head back to the States, but he suppose, supposedly sees Laurent on the cliffs. We um, get a conclusion to the story arc or the storyline that his grandfather fought in World War II, so he finds the grave of his grandfather. So um, kind of mimicking, mimicking the actions of what happened to his grandfather in history, repeating itself. So... We'll see what happens in season two, which was a very good trailer in and of itself because we find out that Carol is learning or trying to find out what happened to Daryl. So the season two um, title or the season two show is called The Walking Dead, Daryl Dixon, The Book of Carol. So super long title, but it looks like we're going to probably see what Carol's been up to to find him or what she's been up to potentially have a reunion in that the second season or set it up for a third season where they do actually end up meeting or she heads on over to France as well. Um, so with that being said, I do recommend watching the show, but it's kind of hard to say that, you know, I don't want to say, you know, watch just the first episode and the last episode because I think season or episode two or three had a couple of good bits. Um, and then episodes like four and five were kind of okay. And then six rounded out really nicely. So overall, like I said, it was good. And then like the whole Messiah aspect of Laurent kind of fell apart for me because they do find that city where all the people were living. So um, I don't know, either six episodes was too short or they kind of wasted a little bit too much time on the Laurent stuff and going back and forth and all of that when they could have moved on. So I think maybe a 10 episode season might have been a little bit better to give them more room to breathe and deal with you know um daryl's grandfather or explain a little bit more of the messiah or spend a little bit more time with those bad guys and how they um souped up those zombies and stuff like that so with that being said i'm still interested in season two but um so if i was to grade it i would probably give season one a grade of about a 80 percent overall it was good it was interesting enough it had took a dip in interest for me in the middle but it picked back up by the end of it so um 
that's why it's kind of like I would I'm hesitantly recommending it. So definitely not a season one of The Walking Dead, but probably more of like a season four or five maybe where you know it's still interesting but it's not quite the same as the initial charm of the show um otherwise i also had a chance to finally watch poltergeist um and this was another movie that i thought was okay going into it i didn't really know too much about it i watched the trailer so i was like okay this does seem interesting it looks like it could be a good movie um and then i learned that it was made by steven spielberg so i was like well this feels like it's gonna be a little bit more on the childish side and it kind of was so by the time i get halfway through it it basically felt like um et meets ghostbusters because um of whole the whole thing with that little girl on the tv and then halfway through it when the parent or a quarter or so of the way through it when the parents go to meet the psychologist you basically meet the low budget ghostbusters you have the three guys you have the uh two american people the and the one of whom's a lady but that's neither here nor there and then you have the one african-american guy so basically it's like the ghostbusters four years before the actual ghost or two years before the actual ghostbusters movie um and then it, and then you can basically recast and repurpose the entire cast into the Ghostbusters movie because the mom is basically um, Sigourney Weaver's character, the dad is uh, Vinkman, and then you have the other the three psychologists from the university are the other three Ghostbusters, and then you have all the various ghosts and various forms or another to become, you know, Zool and all the bad guys and the ghosts and all of that. Um, to the point where, uh, if you read some of the trivia online, it does look like Ghostbusters drew its inspiration from Poltergeist. And it feels like they, not necessarily corrected, but they improved a lot on what you saw in Poltergeist to make um, Ghostbusters. And then they added a little bit more special effects and sci-fi-ness to it and that sort of stuff. So it all... So Poltergeist kind of acts as a really good prequel to Ghostbusters where, you know, the ghosts are released into the world. Um, they don't necessarily close off the portal. So it does actually help to explain the events of Ghostbusters um, by using Poltergeist as the base. So overall, if I was to grade the movie, I'd probably give it the same as The Walking Dead, about an 80%. It's not necessarily geared towards adults or kids. I guess preteen to teen is good enough. Um, but if you're looking for a little bit more fun and sci-fi action and um, special effects and stuff, I would actually recommend Ghostbusters over Poltergeist. There's not too much on the horror level. Um, if I was to um, pick between in the, for that era of movies, I would probably recommend Exorcist over Poltergeist. So, um, like I said, Poltergeist leans a little bit more on the E.T. side of things, but it has kind of like that um, alpha version of the Ghostbuster story arc. So if you haven't seen it, then it's a movie to knock off your bucket list. But as far as like currentness of it, it's OK. I, I, you're not really going to miss too much if you haven't seen it. So um, that's kind of where I land on all of that. Um, and that's really all the bulk of that. So as far as regular updates for the week, I only had a chance to watch a couple of episodes in season three of Stargate Atlantis. So we still, everyone's still preparing for the attack of the Wraith on Earth. Um, Dr. Weir was questioned by the IOA. So now Woolsey has his position there. Um, I forget if it's in season three or four, because I think at some point Captain or Captain or Major Carter or whatever goes and takes over, runs the base for a while. I have a weird memory of like reading somewhere where Woolsey was running it for a while, I guess, I think, but maybe I just remember him being there. Um, so I didn't get as far as I wanted into this um, third season, so not too much of an update there. Um, but we have, you know, Doctor, the, one of the other scientist guys testing the um, drug that they developed to turn the wraith back into humans, temporarily working. And then Michael and the, his crew being rescued by some other wraith and all that, so that's kind of where I'm at with that. Um, and then I'm also continuing my playthrough of Doom or the Plutonia experiment on Doom 2. Um, so I finished the third episode and so now I'm in the final um, episode to go th through the portal and close it to um, stop the invasion of hell again. So 
I kind of, I forget how many ep uh, levels are left, so I expect I'll be done by the next episode, or the next uh, podcast episode, um, but if not, then uh, the week after, but there's all, there's not too many levels left, it's not an evenly spaced um, mod where there's, you know, 10 levels per episode and 3 episodes or anything like that, because it was like 6 or 7 in the first episode, and then like 7 or 8 in the second, and then another six or seven like it was a weird mixing like that so it wasn't an even 10 per episode to make it three um episodes so they have they broke it up into four parts to i guess develop the story a little bit more so that's kind of where i'm at with that um so that's all there is for this particular episode so if you have any questions comments feedback or anything like that then you can uh comment on this post on social media on the social media sites uh they're all linked on the website at headphonesneal.reviews um, you can follow along with gameplay and get the video versions of the podcast at youtube.com slash pateln01. Um, and in case you're wondering why the lighting's a little bit off and I'm in a different place than usual for recording, um, it is because my desk broke and I'm waiting for a new desk to come in. So, uh, yeah, past couple of weeks, things have been randomly breaking for me. I, I guess I'm taking things as far as I can, but I've, um, also been using that desk. I think that's a really old desk too, like, a good 15 or 20 years old now so it was about time for it to fall apart um so i still wanted to get the episode out so sorry about the lighting being all, a little bit off um, for this episode but uh we should be all back up and running by next week so that's kind of it um so yeah for next week i plan to have the two episodes of loki hopefully do the plutonia experiment is done as well a few more episodes of stargate atlantis watched um, and I think the final few episodes for Fear the Walking Dead's final season are supposed to start um, this weekend. So if that's the case, then I'll also include that in uh, next week's review for the next episode, or depending on how they release it. But that'll be on the docket if it's for this next week. I'll include next week. If it's for the week after, then I'll just start it the week after. But that is all for this particular episode. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time.